We kick off hour number three here on day number four by welcoming in a future Hall of Famer from the Dallas Cowboys and here courtesy of our friends, my friends and our friends at Marriott. Good to see Jason Witten. How are you, sir? Good to see you, sir. I'm doing well. Good to, good to be on with you, Good Rich. to have you here visiting uh, the courtyard by Marriott. And, um, you know, it, it is amazing. I, I've been with them forever and a day. And you're here. Uh, we're going to be hanging out tomorrow night at their party yeah. here in, in downtown Miami. And the event that they, they have every year in, to celebrate the winner of the Super Bowl sleepover contest where somebody gets to win a chance to sleep in the stadium on Saturday night. It's unbelievable. And then they wake up and they wake up the next day for Super Sunday in this spot. It's truly unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, a few years back I went with them and had breakfast with one of the winners that did. in the morning. Yeah. And uh, did you deliver it like to the did you knock on the door and deliver it? No, they it knew or? that I was going to be there. Oh, you know? okay. So I just got to hang out, have breakfast and uh, be at the Super Bowl site. and. Uh, I just think, you know, what a neat experience for us to be able to kind of engage with those fans. Sure, of course. What Courtyard's providing for them and get to wake up, you know, and see it go from being the only people in the stadium to then when it explodes. So it's I know. a great way to and I remember with them. Two years ago in, my, in Minnesota, I was hanging out in the, again, they remake an entire suite in a stadium uh, into a Courtyard by Marriott room. And that's where I watched the Philly special. That I went down and I saw the Philly special right there on the ground and the whole place was just losing their minds because that was the, one of the most surprising plays I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, and obviously, you know, it was, a, it was a heck of a Super Bowl. What type of Super Bowl do you think we're going to get here on Sunday? I think it's going to be a great game. I really do. You know, I go back and forth. I mean, my gut just says, I mean, the Chiefs. I just think Patrick Mahomes, so, so good. Andy Reid. I love how just he's reinvented himself now going up to Kansas City and how they do it, but um, look, I mean, anytime you can run the football and play good defense and get after the quarterback, like that's the formula. That is a that's formula. That's lasted for 60 years. That's right. In the NFL. So every time I catch myself kind of jumping on the Kansas City train, I'm reminded, hey, what wins in this league? And San Francisco has that formula. So I think it's gonna be a great game, and and uh, I think I think Kansas City pulls it out in the end. You and I are lockstep. Uh, Jason, because I've been trying to hold my horses all week long to not just say this is Mahomes' moment, that this is going to be his time to shine. I started the show by saying, and my buddy Brockman over there um, called me a hot take artist on the spot, that, <laughs> that, that Mahomes is... Wait till you hear this, Jason. ...the most talented quarterback to play in the history of the Super Bowl. To wow. show up. Thank you. I don't, no, 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 no. I'm not great reaction. There's been some great ones now. I understand <laughs> that. I understand that. But talented, coming in with a skill set at the age that he is. He's not like some 35 year old that's found a fountain of youth. He's not like some guy who's a pocket passer who's going right. to beat you from the neck up. He's a guy that you have no idea what's going to happen, and you have no idea how he can break contain. You have no idea if he's going to be able to just sling it, no look. Again, I'm getting caught up in it, admittedly, but every single time I do get caught up in that, I do think, well, man, Nick Bose is a totally different beast that many people are. That front four, front seven, or front five, as Mariucci just called it, is as talented as they come. Yeah. And that's when I kind of pull back a little bit. But you are, you dis, you, you would I, I think it's I a mean, bold statement, but I, I do think, you know, all the hype of how good he is, I think he's even better than that. And, <laughs> and 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 I, I say that, and I, and I believe his ability to create of he can do it inside the pocket, he can escape it, he can do it long. He's unbelievable with these RPOs, the body positions. I mean, that Aaron Rodgers ability to kind of throw it in these awkward off balance spots. I mean, I was calling a game uh, a couple years ago or last year for Monday Night Football. Right. He switched hands and threw it left handed That's for first against down, Denver. You know, that was against in, Denver. I yeah. remember that. So and and I think he is the ultimate competitor. He's been down, he's lost on the road, he's played against Tom Brady, he's done against, he's gone to New England and had those type of games. So to be as young as he is, yes. he's pretty weathered. He's got some scars, you know? I mean, he's, uh, he's had some of those experiences. So with that and knowing the relationship with Andy Reid yes. and the wizard behind the whole thing of drawing up these plays, um, and he's got talent around him, and he's not afraid to get them the ball. Well, his talent, again, um, overcomes mistakes. They overcome what normally, conventionally, can't be overcome, like, say, your kneecap being on the side of your leg. <laughs> yeah. 
where I saw that, I'm like, okay, his season's over. It's over. And I certainly didn't think, okay, it's not over, but he'll be back in three weeks, and Andy Reid's going to throw him out there two weeks before a bye and one week before he goes to Mexico City where they yeah. had to cancel a game because of the turf. You know, but nope, he goes out there and dominates, although loses because of circumstances in Tennessee, but he threw for 400 yards. Yeah. Does go to Mexico City. Doesn't look any worse to wear. Does win that game yeah. against the Chargers. Then he goes on his bye week. Or in the uh, AFC Championship game, they fell down behind again. Team made mistakes, certainly towards the end of the game when the Titans looked like they could come back with a fake punt. He just throws one down the field. And, yeah. and that's why I'm saying at his age and his position and, and, and his talent that he could be the most talented guy to ever play in that spot. And you know me, I'm not a hot take artist. Yeah, well. I don't trade in that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Thank and you, I, I mean, but time will tell. But, I mean, there is something there. And, I mean, on top of his ability, yeah. he's just one hell of a kid, too. You know, which I think uh, as veteran players, you look back and say, all right, that's how you should go about it. You know, and there was a play in the AFC Championship game where he kind of scrambled and, and, and was buying some time like he does, all script. And it looked like Tyreek Hill maybe stopped running because why wouldn't he? He's not going to throw this thing 60 yards. And he threw it away. I'm not real sure where he threw it, but he got up and it caught him like he was so mad he at Tyreek Hill. He barked at him. Yeah, yeah. he kind of barked at him. And that just shows the way the guy's wired, which I think when I see that, I'm like, wow. I mean, he expects to make those type of plays. And so when you're in the big stage and you can kind of create those type of plays and expect to do so and you're you got this type of skill set he has around him. Right. Uh, watch out. But, hey, listen, let's not forget the other side. There. No, I, I mean, know. I know. And they're, they're very Kyle good. Kyle Shanahan's they, pretty darn good. They are terrific. And, they, and I, I, I do think it's going to be a, a very evenly matched Super Bowl. Jason Witten here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Which tight end do you think is going to have the most impact, Kittle or Kelsey? Both. I mean, they're the number one weapons for their offense. And there's a lot of good players. I mean, across the board on, on, on both those, the skill group. But right. they're just so dynamic, both of those guys. I mean, I mean, Kittle will do it probably a little bit more in the run game. I mean, because they, they want to get that zone game going and takes a lot of pride in, in that. But I mean, Kelsey's just, not only does he have feel and the connection with the quarterback, but he's so explosive to be that big. And he just knows where that spot is. You know, he just finds a, that, that soft spot and he gets first down. So. They're both. I expect a huge game from them. We had Dak on earlier, Jason, um, and he, you know, said he's confident that there's going to be a deal. But the fact that there isn't one still is kind of it's just weird. There's just no other way to put it. What 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 happened last year in Dallas that that caused the team to not make the playoffs, not succeed as many expected? Can yeah, you put something well, on it here? I for I, me? I mean. We just didn't play very well down the critical stretch. I and mean, we had every opportunity with the division being what it was. Um, I, I just think it, it boils down to, you know, the league as a whole, it's tight games. It's like 75% of the games are one score in the fourth quarter. We lost seven of eight games. And so at, at one sense, you look at it and you say, oh, it's close, we're right there. You know, we, we, we can, any those games can go either way. Right. But then the other sense is like, well, good teams find ways to win those type of games. And we just couldn't do that. And uh, had opportunities down the stretch. So it just collectively, I think both sides, we didn't play as well. I mean, it's a talented roster. Certainly should be better than eight and eight. And uh, that's tough when your season ends and, and you don't, you know, you, you don't catch that break and knowing you had that many opportunities. But I don't think it had anything to do with Dak's contract. I mean, that guy's just a pro. Right. Uh, he handles it. And I'm confident those guys will get that resolved. And. He'll be the quarterback there for a long time. What about you? Are you done playing? No, I don't think so. Um, you know, I'm going to take a little time, and, and uh, I've had one go around at this, and uh, right. you know, it's debatable on how that ended up for me there, uh, Rich. Yeah. Um, but I, I just want to be deliberate in the process of knowing what it takes to play. But I'm proud of the way I played. Uh, I think you know I want to make another run at that. Okay. And uh, and I know this. The opportunity to play when that leaves, it's it's over. You know, I mean, a big part of me has been kind of tied to coaching, and I want to get into coaching and, and make a difference that way. But it's a lot of time to coach. Very little time left for me to play. Sure. You know, so um, got a little time to, to make that decision. 
Uh, but yeah, I think I'm leaning towards that and get myself ready. But at the same time, kind of respecting that process and being deliberate in it. Because um, if there's one thing I learned, it was like, when I took the Monday night gig, maybe I wasn't ready to give it up. But we're all in the business of taking advantage of opportunities of and putting yourself. And that was one that couldn't pass up. But after going through that, I think it's made me take a little bit more time as I kind of get prepared for making this decision now. Have you and McCarthy connected at all? We have, yeah, we met. Okay. And, uh, I had a really good visit with Mike, you know, I mean, uh, very honest and direct. I mean, we've known each other from, from afar. I played for him a couple times in the Pro Bowl and obviously got a lot of respect for him. So just uh, a lot of great conversations with him, with Steven, with Jerry, and we'll stay in communication. But I think he's inheriting a, a really talented team and sure, uh, great opportunity for him. What would you consider playing for another team? Uh, I think, I mean, obviously you would of 16 years in Dallas. I mean, of course. You, you would love to uh, finish it off there, but I also am understanding, not naive enough to think that, hey, it may n need to be somewhere else. You know, I think that's that's how this business works, you know, and um, so uh, you have to be open to that idea for sure, but I, I think the biggest thing is just having those open conversations with Jerry and Steven and Mike and uh, see where this thing takes us here in the next couple months. So you would be, it, it, you could see yourself potentially in a uniform that doesn't have the star on the side of the Yeah, hammer. it's crazy to say that, but... Well, yeah, hey, man, I look, think... Brady might have that decision coming up yeah. in about six weeks. Yeah. You know, that's a fact. That may actually come up, and a lot of people think he would not consider it. I I, I think he would consider it. Yeah, I think sure. with any time you have a new coach come in and opportunity, I think it's the most important thing for a veteran player like myself is right. what's the role, what are you expecting from me, here's my expectations going into that, right? It's about finding that fit. I mean, mm -hmm. when you get to this point in your career, it's winning and knowing where you're going to contribute. That's sure. all it is. Right. And, and uh, regardless of what you've done in the past, I mean, that's how you have to look at it. And so, uh, you know, when I make those decisions, I know how much I put into it. And everything else kind of goes on hold in, in my life, you know. And so that's why I'm kind of taking my time as I go through it. And uh, We'll see, though. The NFL season uh, for Marriott Bonvoy members uh, bid more points uh, you, who can bid their points on more than 250 money can't buy experiences, including brunch with NFL legends like you and experience Super Bowl 54 from a luxury suite, as well as on field access to watch the Pepsi Super Bowl 54 halftime show. No better time to be uh, a Marriott Bonvoy member. And of course, Courtyard by Marriott is in its ninth year as the official hotel of the National Football League. It's been an unbelievable run. So I'll be seeing you tomorrow night at the uh, at the Courtyard Bash, correct? Yeah, we'll I'll do be that. There. Okay, fantastic. And uh, Denise, uh, I, I I have not met her yet. Eamon, I believe, is her name. She won the Sleep Super Bowl sleepover contest. Yeah. That'll be good times. So we'll be hanging out tomorrow night. I look forward to that. She's an ER doctor. She's oh, is that right? Yeah. You met her? You uh, met? Her? I have not. I'll okay. meet her tomorrow night. So you actually you actually know, know yeah. you're you're deep in it. Fantastic. I look forward <laughs> to seeing you, man. Yeah, well, I'll see you tomorrow night. Always love love seeing you here too. Yeah, big fan of the show, man. The tribute to the old man, your pops. That was great. That was great. Thanks. I may or may have not shed a tear. So, you know what? There's been a lot of tears shedding around here these days yeah. too. It's just you're just wearing it on your sleeve is the only way I know how yeah. to do it. Thank you for saying yeah. that. Yeah, you know, and I think in general when you're uh, you have this platform of being around the titans of the of the industry, like Kobe Bryant, you know, and you're saying that shedding those tears, it's like you you can learn so much from those guys, you know. And I think that's what makes this game this weekend so fun is getting around, be able to share those experiences, so many great ones, and. Uh, Kobe sure was that. No doubt. Did you ever meet him or you ever ever come yeah, across him? Yeah, I was with him? him a couple times and we weren't really close or anything, but uh, just uh, he had that line of can't cheat the muse, you know, and he would share that with me. I, actually, we were in uh, doing upfronts up in New York City and we got to spend some time together. And uh -huh. um, I just loved how his mindset was, you know, of when you when you go to work and outwork them and train them and everything. He was uh, so successful, and I think he made everybody around him better. You know, and he never came off that standard. Uh, great to see. So thoughts and prayers are for that family. Absolutely, and for everybody else who perished in that helicopter accident. I'm putting two and two together. When you were doing upfronts for Monday Night Football, he was probably doing the ESPN Plus stuff. Yeah. Remember that he was breaking stuff down, and it was tremendous. Yeah. Tremendous. You know, know it's funny because uh, he was talking about the – he saw when I retired, there was a big talk about the Y option route. That was kind of my route. It's like an 8 to 10 yard get open route. Yeah. And he was just so amazed into and wanted to know about all the intricacies that go into running that route. And well, what happens when the – well, how do you defend it? Well, what's the challenge? What's next? How are you going to get better at it? You know, just over and over and over. And so uh, 
for me to, to be able to spend that time with him and pick his brain, uh, uh, I just think that's one of the great memories, I think, having this opportunity and this platform is that you get to be around guys like him. Yeah, of course, you know, and you know, he also uh, was a diehard Eagles fan, so yeah. I'm sure he watched a lot of your games. Yeah, nobody's perfect. I know. Man, so. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good yeah. to see you. Uh, at Jason Witten on Twitter, at Real Jason Witten uh, on Instagram, and again, everybody could check out what's going on Courtyard by Marriott by going to the Courtyard by Marriott website. Everybody here, that is Jason Witten. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.